Hey YouTube, welcome to another Valkyrie Connect video. My name is Akeo and in this video we'll be going over the mechanics, equipment selection, and team building for the Connect Nico Nico. Collecting enough Nico Nico tokens allows you to purchase the item Nico Nico Sword, which deals 140% physical attack damage and burns for 2 turns to the two enemies with the lowest HP. All magic attack is converted to physical damage as well. The sword is limited to mages only. Nico Nico is a grounded beast mage that has a high affinity towards the fire, dark, and earth element with a very weak resistance towards water and light. As you climb the difficulty of Nico Nico, you'll notice that he's accompanied by either one or two sets of magic crystals. The first set of magic crystals is the dark crystal, the second set of magic crystals is the fire crystals. The first set of crystals, the Dark Mage Crystals, shade for two turns to two random enemies. Shade is a status effect that removes the unit from the game for X amount of turns. The second set of crystals, the Fire Magic Crystals, deals fire magic attack damage and skill gauge down to the nearest unit. Nico Nico has two sets of abilities, the first one being his active skill, the second one being his auto skill. Nico Nico's active ability deals magic attack damage and burns for 3 turns to the enemy with the lowest HP. Keep note that the burn effect only applies to specific races listed below. Nico Nico's auto ability deals a connect wide attack that deals magic attack damage as well as burn for 5 turns to all heroes in the connect. This is not race specific. Next we'll be going over some example equipments that you can use in the connect to take advantage of his weak light and water resistance as well as defending against his incoming burn and magic attack damage. The top row we have our AoE weapons, the middle row we have our single target weapons, and the bottom row we have some accessories as well as armor to sustain the incoming damage. The top row we have Key to Asgard, Shining Soleil, Jormungen Bow, and Latent Light Bow. These are all great for AoE as well as Crystal Crushing. The second row we have Storch Ritter, Icicle Cannon, Vigri, and Mermaid Bikini. Keep note that Mermaid Bikini not only single targets but also casts a debuff on Nico Nico as well. The last row we have Ring of Niflung, Crystal Armor, Glacial Cloak, and Bangle of Faith. Niflung and Bangle of Faith as well as Crystal Armor are all great for adding HP to your unit so that they can sustain the incoming burn damage or if you equip Straw Hat or Winged Helm, each raw heal heals you for more. The Glacial Cloak can reflect some of the incoming damage as well. Next up, we'll be going over some example heroes that you can use in the connect to help you either defend the incoming damage or deal as much damage as possible taking advantage of the light and water resistance that Nico Nico has. First up, we have our healers and tanks. We have Balder, Erd, Luka, and Neji. First we have Balder who is a spike healer, meaning that he heals one time and it's not a heal over time. Erd is a healing over time unit which his heal after casted persists through an X amount of turns. Though Balder has moderate fire resist and low dark resist, that may seem like a bad idea due to the fire and dark crystals in the connect, he is an Izer which allows him to avoid being shaded as well as burned which will allow you to heal with Balder without interruptions. There is an exception where he will be burned if Nico Nico uses his auto ability. Ur is a healing over time unit which heals for 45% of the hero's max HP over the course of 3 turns with 15% intervals, and buffing them with a physical and magical defensive buff for 3 turns. Next up we have our tanks, we have Luka and Niji. Luka is on this list due to her moderate fire resist and dark resist as well as her ability to absorb incoming damage and heal off of it. Not to mention that she is also able to defend units that are 50% or below. Niji on the other hand has moderate fire and dark resist as well but she's not able to heal off of the damage or defend any other unit. The upside to her is that she can avoid being shaded and burned from Nico Nico's active ability. Next, we have our DPS. We have Sif, Thrud, Thor, and Saber. Though Thor and Saber both have low resistance towards dark and fire, their ability to crystal crush makes them really powerful in disconnect as long as you have them orb or geared out enough. Thrud not only has moderate fire and dark resist, her ability also allows her to target three enemies, which means that she's a great unit for crystal crushing. Though Sif has low dark resist and moderate fire resist, she can compensate with this by dealing 250% light damage to the nearest enemy, allowing her to be a very strong single target unit. Next up we have our range and mages. We have Ranko, Nautica, Odin, and Art. 
Though Ronko has low dark resist and high fire resist, her ability to crystal crush makes her very good for this connect if you can keep her alive. Keep in mind that if you don't have her geared or ordered enough, she will die quickly in this connect. Not only does Nautica have moderate fire and dark resist, she also has bonus damage against beasts, which is Nico Nico's type. Her ability to hit the furthest enemy row allows her to crystal crush fairly fast as well. Considering the furthest enemy row is weakest to water, you have both sets of crystals up. Odin deals light magic side damage to all enemies in the connect, as well as a magic defense debuff for 3 turns to all enemies. Keep note that Odin has very low fire resist, which means that you will have to put some defensive gear on him, or you will have to have a very strong healer by his side to keep him alive. Lastly, we have Artu who has very good fire and dark resist. Though she doesn't crystal crush, she can grant 3 of your heroes with a fire shield that mitigates the damage by 50% for 3 turns. Keep in mind that these were just example gears and units that you can use in the connect, there are many others that you can choose, such as Slayer Ring, Theozzi Fur Coat, Icicle Bow and Rod, Vera Dandy, Summer Hell, and Loki. A few last things to keep note of is that Isers, Dwarves, and Therians are all immune to his active ability and his Dark Magic Crystal's Shade ability. Though a unit may not have the elemental resistance that you want for the connect, you can offset it by having a strong healer. Even though your team isn't comprised of Isers, Therians, or Dwarves, you can beat the connect pretty effectively with the other races on your team. And with that guys, thank you for watching the video. If you aren't already involved in the Valkyrie Connect community, there is a Discord and Reddit that you can get yourself involved in. I'll provide the link below in the description. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe. If you would like to see what I've been up to in the game, follow me on Twitter and to see what the Japanese client side has been doing as well. Until next time guys, take care. Mi una deva o va